Hello YouTube and welcome to another Mac OS tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to access any website or server with invalid or revoked SSL certificate. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know these days SSL certificates are very common to access websites or servers. So in this video, I will show you just a simple trick how you can access untrust certificate for website. So first of all, let me give you an example here. So I will open my Chrome web browser and I will try to access this server here. And by the way, it's just an internal server, but the same thing actually applies to any website. So as I can see here, I cannot access this server. So your connection is not private, okay? And if I click on the advanced button here at the bottom, I can read actually at the bottom, you cannot visit the site right now because its certificate has been revoked, okay? So how can we actually access the site so let me first of all just get rid of this chrome and here in address bar you can see not secure so if i click on this not secure link you get some details here your connection to this site is not secure and here you can see the certificate is invalid to cookies and site setting. So all we have to do actually is to click on the certificate here. And now you get a dialog box with some details about certificate. So here you can see the name, it's PFSense certificate. So PFSense actually it's a firewall that is used to protect our network so this certificate actually is related to this firewall here and you can see the expired date it's Saturday 25th January 2025 and if I click on this link here detail you can see the organization the common name and some technical details like the signature algorithm and key size and public key and a lot of technical stuff that are not interested for us. So how can we actually access the server with the certificate? So all you have to do is just to drag and drop it to your desktop. Here we go. Now we are done with this dialog so I can click on the OK button and let me reduce or minimize this web browser so you can see here on my desktop this is the certificate or the file related to the certificate as you can see it has as extension dot sir for certificate okay so now we get we get the file related to the certificate so i will click here on my spot light search and I will type key access so the key chain access is the program that allows us to manage our certificate it's by default on all Mac OS systems so I will double click on it and make sure here for the key chains to choose system and for the category to click on certificate okay so then you have actually to drag and drop this file for your certificate to the main window okay so keychain access is trying to modify the system keychain so you have to provide the credentials so I'll provide mine and I will hit here modify keychain Okay, so now you can see that uh, the file or the certificate related to our 
server has been added but we are not done yet we cannot access yet our server or website with this trick here you have also to double click on this certificate here so here as you remember you get the same details for the certificate the certificate name the expired date and a lot of stuff like serial public key and signature encryptions and all that okay but you will notice something has been added here if you click on this link here trust you get actually a lot of stuff but the most interesting for us is the first one when using the certificate use system default but we have to choose something else so we have to click on this drop down list and choose always trust et voilà as you can see when i choose always trust all the other things at the bottom like the secure socket layer secure mail extensible authentication ip security all the stuff here are also turned to always trust and now we are done our certificate has been trusted for our system so we can access our website or server so let's close the dialog box here and once again because we have made some changes to the system certificate we have to provide our credentials here we go and we hit update settings and as you can see here now as you can read actually on the main dialog or the main window this certificate is marked as trusted for all users so now all users can access the website or server without any problem because certificate has been trusted actually so now we can get rid of this keychain program here we go and let's see if indeed we can access our server so let me just refresh here et voila you can see that now i get access to my server so i can actually navigate it without any problem because its certificate has been trusted so that was just simple trick that you can add or use whenever you want to access any website or server with invalid or revoked certificate okay so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye